The fixed point is called the focus of the conic section and the fixed line is called as the directrix. Parabola is the locus of a point. Locus means the path traveled by a point under certain given conditions. So therefore the coordinates of the focus S is equal to A, 0 and Z is equal to minus A, 0. The chord passing through the focus and the perpendicular to the axis of the parabola is called as the lattice rectum. Hello dear students, welcome to this session of basic mathematics class. I am Mr. Niranjan, Faculty Department of Mathematics, Vidashtam PU College, the Temple of Excellence. Today in this session, I am going to discuss very important and simple chapter that is parabola in the conic section. So, one of the small uh, conic, in conic section, a part is a parabola. So, let me discuss regarding parabola. In this session, I am going to discuss regarding the different types of parabolas. Now, what are the contents today I am going to discuss? Before going to that, the weightage for this is 4 marks. So, you will get uh, 4 marks from this chapter, that is it. So, one, one, one mark, one question and uh, one, three mark questions or one mark, two questions and one, two mark questions. So, totally, so the weightage for this chapter is four marks. So, today I am going to discuss regarding the definition of a parabola and the definition of an eccentricity and the different types of a parabola and the characteristics of a parabola, different uh, characteristics of the parabola. Now, straight away, let us know regarding how to define a parabola. What is a parabola? Now, so let me discuss regarding the introduction to the conic section. A conic section is a locus of the point, a conic, a conic section is a locus of a point which moves such that the ratio of a distance from the fixed point yes, to its distance from the fixed line is always a fixed positive constant. So that is the conic section is a locus, locus is nothing but the path to travel, the path travel by a point which moves such that the ratio of its distance from the fixed point yes to the fixed line L, the ratio of its distance from the fixed point X to the fixed line L is always a fixed positive constant. See here, this is a fixed point and this is the focus. The distance from P to S and the distance from P to M, the ratio PS by PM is always a positive quantity. That is the ratio PS by PM is always the positive quantity. That is a conic section is a locus of a point which moves in a plane such that its distance from the fixed point S to the fixed line is always a positive constant that is denoted as PS divided by PM, which is always a positive constant, positive constant, right. Now, the fixed point S is called the focus of the conic section and the fixed line is called as the directrix. So, S is called the fixed point, is called the focus and L is called as the directrix. So, the fixed point is called the focus of the conic section and the fixed line is called as the directrix. Now that is here, S is the fixed point that is called as the focus, here S is called as the focus and this L is called as the directrix, L is called as the directrix, right. So now, so P is any point on the locus that is the conic section then by definition, if P is any point on the locus then by definition. PS divided by PM, P is any point on the locus. Suppose if P is any point on the locus of the conic section, then by definition, PS by PM, the distance from P to S and PM, PS by PM is equal to a fixed constant. This constant ratio PS by PM is called as the eccentricity. So therefore, the distance PS divided by PM is called as the eccentricity. So PS by PM is called as the eccentricity of the conic section. Now, depending upon the eccentricity, the curves, the conics are uh, divided into parabola, ellipse and hyperbola. Now, so a conic section and its type, if the eccentricity is equal to 1, that means if uh, PS by PM is equal to 1, that is eccentricity is equal to 1, in this case PS is equal to PM, then the conics is called a parabola. If the eccentricity is equal to 1, that means if PS by PM is equal to 1, PS by PM is equal to 1 means PS is equal to PM, 
then such a conic is called as a parabola. So, for a parabola, the eccentricity is always equal to 1. Suppose if eccentricity is less than 1, that is Ps by Pm is less than 1 means if Ps is less than Pm, Ps is less than Pm, then the conic is called as an ellipse. If uh, the eccentricity is less than 1, then the conic is called an ellipse. Suppose if the eccentricity is greater than 1, that is Ps by Pm is greater than 1, Ps is greater than Pm, then the conic is called an hyperbola. So, depending upon the eccentricity, if eccentricity is equal to 1, then it is called as a parabola. If eccentricity is less than 1, then it is called an ellipse. If eccentricity is equal to 1, it is called a parabola. If eccentricity is less than 1, it is called an ellipse. If eccentricity is greater than 1, it is called an hyperbola. So, parabola, ellipse and hyperbola are the conics. So, we are going to discuss only regarding the parabola whose eccentricity is always equal to 1. That is Ps by Pm is equal to 1 or Ps is equal to Pm. Now, Parabola is the conic section whose eccentricity is 1. A parabola is the conic section whose eccentricity is 1. Now, how to define the parabola? The definition of a parabola is, parabola is the locus of a point which moves in a plane such that its distance from the fixed point, that is the focus, is equal to its distance from the fixed line. Since that is Ps is equal to Pm. The distance from the fixed point to the focus is equal to the distance from the fixed point to the directrix L. So then it is called a, the conic is called as a parabola. That is, parabola is the locus of a point. Locus means the path traveled by a point under certain given conditions. So, the parabola is the locus of a point which moves such that its distance from the fixed point, that is the focus, is equal to the distance from the fixed line. Ps is equal to Pm. So, that is the directrix, right. Now, Ps is equal to Pm is the definition for the parabola. So, that is the distance from the fixed point to the focus is equal to fixed point to the directrix L. Now, by knowing this, let us uh, derive the equation. Now, let us derive the derive, that is theorem, derive the equation of the parabola with proper choice of coordinate axis is y square is equal to 4x. So, derive the equation of a parabola in the standard form y square is equal to 4ax. Now, let us consider let S is the focus and L is the directrix. Let S is the focus, let S is the focus and L is the directrix. Let S is the focus and L is the directrix draw SZ perpendicular to the directrix. Let S is the focus and L is the directrix. Draw SZ perpendicular to the directrix L. On SZ, mark the point O. O is the midpoint of SZ. O is equal to 0, 0, the midpoint of SZ. Now, produce OS this as an x-axis. Let S is the focus and L is the directrix. Draw SZ perpendicular to the directrix L, then O is the midpoint of SZ, then produce OS, OX as an x-axis and OY as a y-axis. Now, since the distance SZ, SZ is equal to 2A because A is greater than 0, it is positive, A is greater than uh, 0. So, therefore, the distance from O to S, OS is equal to A and similarly, the distance from OZ is also equal to A. So, therefore, the coordinates of the focus S is equal to A comma 0 and Z is equal to minus A comma 0. Let P X comma Y be any point on the curve, let P X comma Y be any point on the curve, then P S, join P S, P S is joined and P M is drawn perpendicular to the directrix L. So, join P S, join P S and P M is drawn perpendicular to the directrix L. This is the construction. Listen to me. Let S is the focus. Let S is the focus and L is the directrix. So, SZ is drawn perpendicular to the directrix L. Now, produce OS as an x-axis. So, OS as an x-axis and OY as an y-axis. Now, since O is the midpoint of SZ, therefore, the distance from SZ is equal to 2A, A is positive. So, OS is equal to A and OZ is also equal to A. OS is equal to A plus A is 2A. So, therefore, the coordinates of the focus S is equal to A comma 0. 
and the coordinates of z is equal to minus a comma 0. Let p x comma y be any point on the curve. P m is drawn perpendicular to the directrix L and P s is drawn, join P s and P m is drawn perpendicular to the directrix. Now, according to the definition, by definition of the parabola, P s by P m is always equal to 1. Now, by definition, now by definition of the parabola, P s divided by P m is equal to 1. That means the distance P s is equal to P m. This is by definition. So, P s is equal to P m. What is P s? P s is nothing but the distance from x comma y to a comma 0 use distance formula and pm since pm is parallel to sz now by definition ps is equal to pm so ps is equal to pm now a perpendicular is drawn draw a perpendicular from this so this is n n is drawn perpendicular now since from figure pm p to m is also equal to nz so P s is equal to P m is also equal to N z. Now, what is N z from figure? N z is equal to O yes, O n, O n plus O z. So, O n is nothing but this O n is equal to O n is the x coordinate of the point. So, O n is the x coordinate of the point O n. So, here this is nothing but x and O z is equal to A. What is O z? O z is equal to A. So, nz is also equal to x plus a. Substitute here. ps, the distance from p to s. ps is equal to by distance formula, ps is equal to root of x1 minus x2 whole square, that is x minus a whole square plus y minus 0 whole square. Substitute here. So, ps is x minus a whole square plus y minus 0 whole square is y square under root is equal to nz. nz is x plus a. Now, squaring on both sides, so, square square root gets cancelled, x minus a whole square plus y square is equal to x plus a whole the square. So, what is required to find is y square is equal to x plus a whole square minus x minus a whole square. Simplify this. If you simplify this, what we will get? x plus a whole square that is a square plus b square plus 2ab again minus a square plus b square minus 2ab. So, simplify this can be written as y square is equal to y square is equal to x square plus a square x square plus a square plus 2ax multiply by negative side minus x square minus a square minus into minus plus 2ax. So, minus a square plus x square minus x square plus x square minus a square plus a square gets cancelled, y square is equal to 2ax plus 2ax is equal to 4ax. So, hence the equation of the parabola is y square is equal to 4ax. So, therefore, the shape of the parabola y square is equal to 4ax is, this is the shape, a parabola opening right side. So, here s is the focus, s is equal to focus a comma 0 and l is the directrix then the coordinates of z is equal to minus a comma 0, vertex v is equal to 0 comma 0. So, LL dash is the ends of lattice rectum, it is a lattice rectum and the ends of lattice rectum a comma 2a and L dash is equal to L is equal to a comma 2a and L dash is equal to a comma minus 2a, right, okay. So, these are the points to be remembered for the parabola y square is equal to 4ax, right. So, the standard equation of the parabola is y square is equal to 4x, very important for the point of examination. You may expect 3 marks question for the derivation. Now, so here write down the, so the shape of the parabola is y square is equal to 4x is the standard equation of the parabola. The vertex, the vertex for this is, vertex is equal to 0 comma 0 and the focus, focus s is equal to a comma 0 and yes z the coordinates of z is equal to minus a comma 0 and and the equation of the directrix is equation of directrix equation of directrix is x is equal to minus a x is equal to minus a this is x is equal to minus a is the equation of the directrix and the length of lattice rectum ll length of lattice rectum is equal to 4a l dash is equal to 4a right so the equation of the lattice rectum equation of uh, directrix is x is equal to minus a equation of uh, lattice rectum is 
x is equal to a. Equation of lattice rectum is x is equal to a. And the coordinates of lattice rectum. So L is equal to coordinates. Coordinates of lattice rectum. L is equal to a comma 2a and L dash is equal to a comma minus 2a. Right. So the equation of the parabola is on a x axis. Axis of the parabola is x axis. So the parabola in the standard form for the parabola y square is equal to 4x. The axis is the x axis, parabola opening right side. So the coordinate, the vertex is 0, 0 and s is the focus a, 0 and uh, the coordinates of z is equal to minus a, 0 and the equation of the directrix is x is equal to minus a and the length of lattice rectum LLR is equal to 2a plus 2a that is equal to 4a and the equation of the lattice rectum is x is equal to minus a and the ends of lattice rectum L is equal to a, 2a and L dash is equal to a, minus 2a. These are the points to be remembered for a parabola y square is equal to 4x whose axis is towards a positive direction of x axis. Very important points, right. Now, similarly, these are the points. Lattice rectum. Now, what is this lattice rectum? Lattice rectum, the cord passing through the focus and the perpendicular to the axis of the parabola is called as the lattice rectum. That is, the cord passing through the focus and perpendicular to the axis. The cord, this is the cord passing through the focus and perpendicular to, passing through the focus and perpendicular to, perpendicular to the axis is called as the lattice rectum. The cord passing through the focus and perpendicular to the axis, that is x axis, is called the length of lattice rectum. Here LL dash is the lattice rectum. So denoted as LL dash, that is length of lattice rectum is always equal to A plus A is equal to 4A. So the cord passing through the focus and perpendicular to the axis of the parabola is called as the lattice rectum. And the length of lattice rectum is given by LL dash that is equal to length of lattice rectum is A plus A that is equal to 4A. Now here LL dash is the length of lattice rectum, right. S is the focus and vertex is 0, 0, the distance, uh, the coordinates of z is equal to minus a, 0 and vertex is 0, 0 and uh, l, a, 2a, l dash is equal to a, minus 2a for the parabola y square is equal to 4ax. This is called a right-handed parabola that means y square is equal to 4ax is the right-handed parabola that is the parabola which is opening right side, the axis of the parabola is x axis, x axis is the axis of the parabola. Now similarly, left-handed parabola. For left-handed parabola means the towards the negative of x axis that is, so here y square is equal to minus 4ax, y square is equal to minus 4ax. So parabola of opening left that is y square is equal to minus 4ax. So for this, the axis is towards the negatives of x axis. So for this parabola y square is equal to minus 4x, the vertex is same 0, 0 and uh, focus is minus a, 0 and uh, the length of lattice rectum, LL dash is the length of lattice rectum, a, L is equal to minus a, 2a whereas L dash is equal to L is equal to minus a, 2a and L dash is equal to minus a, minus 2, both are negative. So the focus is say minus a comma 0. Here for the first it is a comma 0. For the second one y square is equal to minus 4x. The focus is minus a comma 0. Vertex is 0, 0. And the directrix L. So the yes, equation of the directrix is x is equal to plus c. And the equation of lattice rectum, equation of a lattice rectum is x plus a is equal to 0. That means x is equal to minus a. x is equal to minus a. Right. And same as that of coordinates of L and L dash are, this is L dash, L is equal to a minus a comma 2a, minus a comma 2a and L dash is equal to minus a comma minus 2a. These are the points to be remembered for the parabola y square is equal to minus 4x, that is the parabola of opening towards the left. Now similarly, so for the parabola of opening upward, so here the parabola axis, the axis of the parabola is x square is equal to 4ay, just interchange x and y. So x square is equal to 4ay is the axis parabola which is opening upward. 
x square is equal to 4 a y is the parabola opening upward. So, the focus is 0 comma a and the vertex is 0 comma 0 and l l dash are the length of lattice rectum. The coordinates of uh, focus are 0 comma a whereas l is 2 a comma a and l dash is equal to. So, l is equal to 2 a comma a and whereas l dash is equal to minus 2 a comma a and the focus s is equal to 0 comma a. For the parabola x square is equal to 4 a by parabola opening upward means x square is equal to 4 a by the focus is 0 comma a l is equal to 2 a comma a and l dash is equal to minus 2 a comma a and uh, the equation of the directrix. So, here directrix is y is equal to minus a y is equal to minus a and uh, the vertex is 0 comma 0 as it is right. So, the equation of the directrix is y plus a is equal to 0 or y is equal to minus a and uh, s is 0 comma a l is equal to 2 a comma a and l dash is equal to minus 2 a comma a uh, for the parabola opening upward that is x square is equal to 4 a y. Similarly, the parabola which is moving downwards the parabola downwards parabola. So, that is nothing but x square is equal to minus 4 a y. So, x square is equal to minus 4 a y is the equation of a parabola which is uh, moving downwards that is downwards parabola opening downwards. So, for this same vertex is 0 comma 0 and the focus s is equal to focus s is equal to 0 comma minus a and the directrix is directrix is y is equal to a is the directrix. So, y is equal to a is the directrix and focus is 0 comma minus a and l l dash are the length of lattice rectum l l dash is length of lattice rectum that is equal to 4 a and the coordinates of ends of lattice rectum l is equal to 2 a comma minus a and l dash is also equal to minus 2 a comma minus a. So, the ends of lattice rectum coordinates of ends of lattice rectum l is equal to 2 a comma minus a another one l dash is equal to minus 2 a comma a and the equation of the directrix is y is equal to y is equal to a right. And the equation of the lattice rectum is equation of the lattice rectum is y is equal to minus a is the equation of the lattice rectum ok. So, these are few points uh, to be remembered for the parabola of opening downwards right. So, these are different types of the parabola. So, depending upon the focus and the axis the parabola y square is equal to 4 a x opening rightward and y square is equal to minus 4 a x is the parabola opening left. And uh, if the axis is changed x square is equal to 4 a is a parabola opening upwards and x square is equal to minus 4 a y is a parabola opening downwards. For all the cases the length of lattice rectum remains the same that is l l l l dash that is nothing but length of lattice rectum l l r is equal to 2 a plus 2 a that is equal to 4 a and the focus or s is equal to a comma 0 a minus a comma 0 or 0 comma n 0 comma minus a depending upon the axis of the parabola. So, these are few points regarding different types of the parabolas and uh, points to be remembered for uh, different parabolas. Now, let us take an example for example, example if x square is equal to minus 16 y x square is equal to minus 16 y. So, is comparing with just compare with the standard equation this is of the forum x square is equal to minus 4 a y minus 4 a is equal to minus 16 therefore, a is equal to 4 a is equal to 4 right. So, one by one just write down the focus focus s is equal to what is the formula for focus s is equal to 0 comma minus a that is 0 comma minus 4 ok. So, s is equal to 0 comma minus a. Next, the length of lattice rectum, length of lattice rectum is always equal to 4 a that is 4 into a is 4 that is equal to 16. Then, the coordinates of ends of lattice rectum l is equal to what is the formula for l? l is equal to 2 a comma minus a that is equal to 2 into 4 that is 8 comma minus 4. Another coordinate l dash is equal to minus 2 a comma minus a that is equal to minus 8 comma minus 4 right. The equation of the directrix is equation of directrix equation of directrix is y is equal to a that is y is equal to 4 and the equation of lattice rectum equation of lattice rectum equation of lattice rectum is 
y is equal to minus a therefore y is equal to minus 4 is the equation of lattice rectum. So, equation of directrix is y is equal to 4 and the equation of the directrix is y is equal to minus 4. So, and the curve will be the parabola which is opening downwards. So, this is how we are going to find the points for the given curve. This is an example to solve this problem, right, okay, sorry. This is an example for a parabola which is opening downwards that is of the form x square is equal to minus 16y. So, once if you know the points, so you, you can easily, sorry, once if you know the points, you can easily solve the problems depending upon the axis of the parabola, okay. That is all regarding the definition of a parabola and the different uh, forms of the parabola. So, that is all regarding today's session. Let us meet with the different types of problems in the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much.